Hello, you know, I really like when creators do some experiments and companies Smabat, Smabat, uh, not sure about the correct pronunciation, in their Model X1 managed to make a lot of unusual things, starting with fancy small box and unusual design and ending with uh, unusual uh, sound schema, here used dual dynamic drivers or in some sources I've seen mentioning of two dynamic drivers and uh, uh, they have ability to change sound and sound change uh, here in a really drastic way so basically it's uh, two type of tuning in one uh, shell and probably that's also really interesting price is uh, fairly reasonable they cost 50 dollars i will add links to the description and let's have a closer look so box is really tiny really small and i like that it was wrapped in plastic but of course i, I already unwrapped that it, unwrapped it and uh, not much information so just 98 plus minus 3 decibels and 32 ohms of impedance so not uh, super sensitive earphones actually good polygraphy nice cardboard but of course nothing fancy in terms of presentation but done accurately and pretty unusual it's a bit hard to pull out the main part of the box because lid is fitting pretty tightly and vacuum is holding the uh, top side of the box but i managed to do that you can see that they even put a paper spacer here to improve the presentation and here they are earphones themselves additional set of tips and the stock cable so let's pull this out and this and get earphones out so package is fancy but it's a bit hard to get all things out of it so i almost done here but not yet so maybe i can no this part is glued so you can see unboxing experience is a bit uh, uh, tough here but luckily you'll need to do it just once so i had to pause the video and uh, take the knife to pull them out but finally they are extracted out of the box and you can see design is unusual really thin and flat uh, part with connector and uh, toggle switch uh, small shells and uh, perpendicular spout it has average length and it uh, uh, means average sound isolation there is no lip for holding the tips but actually tips holds uh, pretty okay there is a protective film some small pressure relief hole in interesting in every aspect fancy face plates and uh, all metal design i've read some uh, complaints about the feet but i didn't have problems uh, at least in my ears they hold really well I'd like a bit bigger angle of spouts, of course, but probably it was uh, impossible with this uh, process. Here are the switches. They are not easy to toggle, but with nails you can do that. Of course, it would be better if they include some uh, uh, tool to flip them, but uh, uh, probably it was uh, not fitting the overall budget of this model so let's put the tips on just to illustrate uh, how it looks with tips and uh, stock cable pretty nice looking but uh, basic what is good about it it's really soft and another positive moment here is that uh, uh, smabat uh, or smabat uh, used Two pin connectors that is more reliable in the affordable segment in general and that's a good uh, move from their side so let's see just absolutely standard regular two pin connector fitting nicely into these uh, shells here they are here how it's look 
There are ear hooks, of course, it's traditional for modern earphones. No memory wire. Cable is soft, microphonics is low, really soft and pleasant and comfortable. Splitter with chin slicer and after splitter it goes braided down to the angled jack, so cable is nice. Design is fancy, pa package and presentation is good, so pretty well uh, done job. And of course about the sound, so basically it's two earphones in one and two earphones with a totally different sound. Because flipping this switch uh, changes sound drastically and also changes sensitivity or loudness level, so basically I suspect that uh, flipping the switch just uh, turn on and off uh, one of two drivers uh, giving a different signature. In bass heavy mode it's a model that reminds uh, some uh, TFZ creations, uh, some old KZ models or something like uh, uh, done by Pi Audio, so it's bass heavy model with uh, more or less uh, present mids and uh, noticeably recessed treble. But at the same time it's uh, pretty sensitive uh, in this mode and it can be used for fun listening with uh, smartphone. In the switch down mode they became unusual uh, mid-centric model with much less low frequencies and uh, more recessed uh, deeper layers of bass, main focus on mids and lower treble with also a bit recessed upper treble, it reminds a bit uh, uh, tunings of Tin Hi-Fi T2, for example. And, you know, ideally good sound would be somewhere between these two options, and I'm not sure what is the purpose of using that uh, two different tunings, but it's an interesting experience in this aspect. So let's have a player on the table and let's talk about sound a bit more. I have uh, gave them about 40 hours of burn-in, but there were no noticeable changes. Much more sense uh, is uh, sp in spending time uh, finding the proper tips. Actually, stock tips uh, were not uh, great for me, but uh, average ones are more or less okay. The best result I've got with uh, Symbio ear tips by Mandarins. So, low frequencies. There are two types of them, one is boosted, second one is uh, in line with mid frequencies and recessed deep bass. In bass heavy mode they have average resolution, uh, not uh, bad, but uh, not superb, so somewhere in between of these two polar sides. Uh, accent is noticeable, pretty big, a bit shadowing mid frequencies, but at the same time with a good depth and sounding with a great body. They are not the most tightest and not the most natural in term, especially with acoustic instruments, but uh, they are big and uh, fun. In the bass light mode or mid centric mode, uh, mid, uh, mid and upper bass is linear, a bit faster, a bit uh, tighter, still not uh, superb in terms of resolution, but uh, normal for the dynamic drivers. And the deeper layer of bass is re reduced and recessed. So this type of tuning suits more natural instruments. With electronic music you will lack uh, a deeper bass. Uh, and, as an example, Gunpowder Chant by Diablo Swing Orchestra. Uh, this track starts with didgeridoo intro and in bass light mode it sounds uh, pretty natural and uh, pretty dynamic. But uh, in bass heavy mode it also sounds fancy, but it definitely moves uh, to the first stage and it's uh, shadowing all other instruments and losing a bit of naturalness. Uh, mid frequencies in bass heavy mode a bit uh, veiled, a bit uh, softened by the low frequencies uh, bleeding onto mids. In the mid centric mode uh, they change the representation. Less bass means less uh, bleeding, means a bit more focus on the micro contrast. And then in this tuning they sound a bit on the drier side uh, without adding weight, without adding coloration and they also became uh, pretty critical for the quality of records, so uh, 
uh, they require some good records. At the same time, nice resolution and uh, pretty natural representation. Imagery stage is below average in base heavy mode and slightly above average in mid centric mode. But you know, it's typical for me. For me, warmer earphones sounding more intimate and with smaller stage usually. And example for the mid frequencies is Jason Newsted above all. I am still uh, saddened because uh, Newsted released just one album. I'd like to uh, get more of them. And actually, for me, Newsted solo album sounds the way I'd wanted Metallica to sound in general. But it's better to have one album that uh, then doesn't have them at all. And of course, uh, for the heavy music, it's better to use uh, mid-centric mode. It sounds a bit more aggressive, a bit faster, not 100% uh, natural, or uh, as I think it should be natural, because I don't know how it should be sound sounding in, in real, but uh, uh, lacking a bit of uh, naturalness, in, especially in the bass guitar. In bass heavy mode, it's fun, it's meaty, but uh, lacking of uh, treble makes sound a bit uh, softened. And uh, treble, actually, in bass heavy mode, they are treble light, not absolutely lacking treble like some tunings have, but uh, it's shadowed by the mids and bass, and uh, they are not moved to the first stage. In the mid-centric mode, the uh, lower part of treble is present, but then uh, treble is a bit recessed, so extension is slightly below average, and it has normal resolution, but uh, uh, not, sup not superb, because it's dynamic drivers, attacks and decays are slower than they should be, and uh, if you're super sensitive, keep in mind that in, in mid-centric mode they can still be sound a bit harsh to you, so it's not the model for really treble sensitive people, but if you're just a bit sensitive, probably they will be okay for you. Uh, don't expect, of course, rich layering or superb overtone saturation, it's just a basic model. And as an example, I've got David Bowie, Girl Loves Me, and that's the track that uh, I always was flipping switches back and forth, because in bass heavy mode, bass line here sounds superb, but I definitely lack, uh, lack overtones and extension in treble, and in the centric mode treble is more present, but uh, I miss that uh, fancy bass. And in terms of pairing, in bass heavy mode they can be definitely used with smartphones, with tablets and all other stuff. In mid-centric mode they will require probably some digital tonal converter to be driven properly. And uh, speaking about the compressions, uh, to be honest I, see don't, uh, I don't see much sense in doing that. Because basically it's two absolutely different uh, types of tuning. And both of them are not uh, common, so usually in this price you can get something hybrid like KZZSX, for example, or you can get dynamic drivers that are more, uh, more regular in terms of tuning, like Tripovin TC01. You can get something drier and monitoring like TRN V series, but uh, this model will be either more bassy than all of them. Uh, and with less treble, or it be less uh, bassy and more natural and a bit uh, drier sounding than all of that models. Uh, to summarize, uh, to be honest, I'm not sure uh, is that the model that is necessary for uh, everyone, because the idea of having two sounds is fun, but at the same time it's two absolutely different sounds that uh, not everyone will need. And uh, for me, probably, you know, you can get uh, bass heavy sound uh, cheaper, like with KZ uh, cheap models or something like that. And uh, mid centric sound uh, actually is normal, but uh, uh, Tin Hi Fi does that a bit better. 
uh, for about the same price so the main usage of this model is when you like the idea of having two sound signatures and also keep in mind that there were complaints about fit i didn't have issues with that but uh, i understand that this uh, sharp edges can be annoying so i definitely understand that it's uh, possible so interesting model but uh, i'm not sure is this experiment uh, enough to be interesting or not thank you for listening thank you for your attention and have a nice day